Hey guys, Extreme Gamer here. Today I am bringing you uh, my second commentary. My last one was on a MW3 gameplay. This one is on a Black Ops. And to tell you, this is my probably one of my best Black Ops gameplays ever. And for the first time, I actually went like 32 and 7. Um, this is being played on Team Deathmatch. So yeah, let's get started with the commentary. So yeah, basically... Um, Black Ops has become a very, very good game for me. Uh, it's, you know, I don't know, it's easier than all the other games. It's really, really easy. Um, Black Ops is more, I say, realistic. Uh, you, you have a lot more better characteristics, uh, characteristics to the game. Uh, I find it a little bit easier. Um, all these other games that are trying to simulate real gameplay, like real life, uh, stuff, you know, like MW3, they kind of wanted to stick with real life stuff, um, but the recoil, it's not as bad, you get all the perks and stuff to be able to handle with that stuff, but at the same time, when you're playing on normal game modes, it's pretty horrible, and it's really, really hard to play. So, Black Ops is, I mean, uh, MW3 is kind of not my thing anymore, so I wouldn't be surprised, and you shouldn't be surprised if I don't upload as much as MW3 gameplays no more. Uh, Modern Warfare 2, I probably will be uploading some things soon, probably some montages um, and some sniping stuff. Uh, hopefully I'll get back to my hacked version, which was on my old channel. If you guys didn't see that, then maybe in a few months or so I'll have that up and going again. I have to get the software to be able to get onto hacked versions of uh, softwares. Uh, I mean, uh, servers. But, anyways, I wanted to talk about uh, iPod. Um, I know it's probably not such a hot, top, uh, hot topic, but anyways, uh, iPod recently had their newest update. And uh, it fixed a lot of bugs and a lot of uh, glitches in your iPod and stuff. And like, oh, and it just gave you like tons of apps. Um, I don't like it. I, on my opinion, I seriously hate it. Uh, iPod, uh, you know, ever since like wh whoever it is that passed away or whatever, I forget his name. He was like the leader. He made, you know, the iPod even exist. Um, Ever since he went, they made iPod. I I find kind of bad quality now. It ain't that good. And I'm looking at my iPod now. The update actually changed. Uh, it's like the 6.0 update. It changed the whole color scheme of your iPod. So if you got this update and you know what I'm talking about, leave in the comment section below if you like it or if you don't. If you don't know what I'm talking about, well, basically I'll try to explain the best I can. So if you own an iPod and you got this most recent update, basically when you go to your music app, you know, you play your music and stuff, instead of being black, blue, and white, you know, like for the play, uh menu like you have your music playing and it has the play the back and the forward button the volume button and your title and then probably your little picture all that has been changed instead of a black with like a white uh, background and then with the bluish buttons that's gone they changed it all to black white and gray which I find really boring why would iPod want to change their probably one of the nicest, you know, I found it, like, as the nicest, the coolest, uh, backgrounds, you know, the background colors, you know, but now they've changed it to all gray, black, and white, um, and I find that really, really, uh, poor quality. Uh, I like it what they did, uh, they, like, the outlines on everything is more sharper, it's more better, uh, the buttons are more... Uh, organized, I can say. I don't know how to put it. But, anyways, it it looks good, but I have the downside to it. The color. The color is pretty blah. Um, it's like a black and white... Uh, wow, I was about to say something else. It's a black and white world. Um, but, you know, I'm looking at my iPod now. It's not too exciting anymore. It's not, you know... I wish if there was a way that you can probably, like, change the color scheme of your iPod. Now, if you could change the color scheme of your iPod and change it back to the original, that'd be pretty cool. And already, to tell you, if you didn't get this update, I suggest don't get it. 
because uh, it it requires 2.5 gigabytes of your uh, memory, and then plus um, it just fixes probably the littlest bugs. Uh, like your your uh, when you would slide, you're on you know you unlock your iPod and you're at the home screen where you have all your apps shown. You scroll over to the left and get the search. You search your iPod. Sometimes if you would scroll back over and press the home button at the same time, your uh, your uh, keyboard would stay up and it would interfere with all your other apps and not disappear. I think that's what I think that's what this uh, pad, uh, update does. But anyways, um, anything else about the iPod? Oh yeah, the apps. They gave me like three, four different apps uh, for free since uh, the iPhone 5 came out. I think I'm not following too much on the iPhone stuff. But um, yeah, the iPhone 5 came out probably a little bit ago. This uh, commentary won't be released for quite a while now, so it'll be kind of a month away. But uh, anyways, the apps that they gave me is pointless. Um, ever since the iPhone 5 came out, they have stuff for the iPhone 5. But what also happened, this update came, and it's giving me stuff that's meaningless to me. I have a passport, uh, passbook thing. It's meant for your flights. But the only problem is, is that I need Wi-Fi. iPod doesn't have a network to connect to constantly. So if I'm sitting in an airport, I get free Wi-Fi. Sure, it'll work. You know, I can schedule my air, uh, uh, stuff for the airport, and then, you know, boarding schedules and stuff and all that stuff. But, you know, if I'm sitting at home and I don't have Wi-Fi connection, or I'm sitting at a store and I need to figure out I need to go to this place and this place, but I need to find a flight, they'll do that. But I have this app sitting on my iPod, but I have no Wi-Fi. You know, it's really pointless. I wish they would think about it and be like, you know, should we really give this person this app? Uh, should it be, and the also thing, the other thing that really disappoints me about this, you cannot delete the app. Um, I tried several ways, uh, probably if you jailbreak your iPod, that's probably the only way, but jailbreaking your iPod does slow it down. Um, I haven't done it, a lot of people say do it, because you'll get rid of all the unnecessary apps that you don't want, but I don't want to do it, because you have a lot of fakes out there, they can ruin your iPod, and then, you know, you have just about basically anything that can happen to your iPod. And I don't think it's a big enough um, thing to be able to risk. I mean, you know, an iPod already, that costs like $250, something like that. And that's a lot of money for some people. So, you know, and then these apps they give you, it's kind of pointless. Uh, the Passbook, uh, some sort of other music thing. Um... I'm just looking through my iPod now. I don't know. And they just, the, the update gave me some sort of things in the options where I can, like, uh, they give me more extra space to uh, to save my all my stuff online. Um, yeah. And then there's a do not disturb. Um, I don't need that because I'm not with a phone. This is an iPod touch. So anyways, um... That was basically my commentary for the uh, for this uh, video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like on the video. And also, if you enjoyed it so much, subscribe. And don't forget to leave those comments down below. Thanks, guys. See ya.